Facebook.com. The reason why I'm actually doing another video blog today is because I promised some of my patients and fellow viewers that we talk about the foam roller. The foam roller, which I am holding in front of me right now, is a great myofascial tool. Myofascial meaning simply soft tissue. It's a great way to start stripping out those muscles when we're getting into that stage of corrective exercise. We're still continuing to run. We're preparing for a marathon, triathlon, or maybe we're just one of those weekend sport people and we're feeling a little tight. The foam roller actually is not a new invention. It's been out for a long time. Physical therapists have been using it for decades. Chiropractors too integrate it with their practice. But the foam roller is something that we should look at doing much more simply because when we look at fitness, it's important to maintain flexibility and mobility in our bodies. And with the foam roller, we can do a nice, easy, gentle massage, or even a little bit more intensified massage to our body on a daily basis. And the beauty about the foam roller is you only need about 15 minutes, or you can target one area of the body versus the other, or you can do the whole body. And like I said, in just about 15 minutes. The foam roller does come in several different colors, mainly three we like to talk about. One being white, which is the one I'm holding in front of me. Then there's a blue, and then there's a black, and then you may even see versions of it as well with little bumps on the foam roller. And that's designed to be a little bit more trigger therapy, um, and we'll actually get in there and really break down the tissue. Now, if you're someone who doesn't really like a deep tissue massage, I always recommend starting with the lighter foam roller because they can create a little bit of bruising simply because you're increasing blood flow, you're breaking down dead tissue, you're increasing the circulation to those muscles and you're help promoting a nice healing process to your body. The other thing is too, as a physician, they, they do have foam rollers that are full length and that are half, but you do want to make sure you use the full length one. You'll find it a lot easier to get your body in certain positions and you know manipulate your body a lot better. The other thing is too, as you can see here, this is a nice 16 inch diameter. You do want the 16 inch diameter. They make foam rollers in half. Those are more designed for a different type of activity that's dealing with balance. So like I said, today we're going to talk about the foam roller and we're going to go through several different areas of our body, starting with our neck and working our way down. Certain parts are going to, you're going to see my eyes quinge a little bit because I'm sure I'm tight just like you are. But let's get started and let's go through it all. And at the end, if you have questions, please email me those questions and I'm happy to go through them with you. And as always, you can always get more information off our website and also more information about our services. So here we okay. go. So we're ready to go. Place your foam roller down on the ground. You may actually want to put the foam roller on a yoga mat or a non-slippery surface. Today we're going to keep the foam roller for all intents and purposes on the wood floor. We're going to start with our spine first. Simply go ahead, sit on the floor. You're going to get that foam roller placed right underneath those shoulder blades, like so. And when I use the foam roller, I always like to lift my hips off the ground. The reason why I like to lift the hips off the ground is so that I can really add some extra pressure into my back. So this way, I can really dig out those areas that need it most. From there, always cross your arms over your chest. Reason being is you want to allow those shoulder blades to wing out to the side. This way you can also get into the subscapularis, the rhomboids, the lats, the paraspinal muscles, and then maybe even up into those traps too, depending on how you do. So, nice and easy, cross your arms over the chest and rock away. Push and propel your body forward and back and make a nice, easy motion. As you can tell, I actually tied my hair up today. So all females, I'm just going to let you know now that if you are wearing a ponytail, when you're doing some of the upper back work, you may find that your hair actually does get stuck onto the foam roller. So do tie it up nice and tight for yourself. This way, nothing gets caught underneath the foam roller. Now, from here, now that we just did our upper back, and I would recommend doing it at least 10 times, nice and easy. You can also gently rock a little bit towards one side, and then you can gently rock a little bit towards the other side. Again, you're going to find those little spots on your own, and you're going to go ahead and dig them out with the foam roller. From here, simply just lower that foam roller down towards the low back. And again, either place your arms on the foam roller or across your chest and start to really get into that foam roller. Okay? Really allow that body to rock it out, and if you're tight in that area, you'll feel it. From there, we can simply 
gently move to our side. Now, the side can usually be a little bit painful, but we'll start with the upper body first. So bone roller is still going to stay on its side. Now you are going to go ahead and lay on your side. From here, we're going to put our arm out just like so. We're going to cross our leg over one versus the other. We're going to lean back a little bit, so this way we're making contact right where our teres is, right where that subscap is, and we're going to feel right where that knot is. And you may even feel a little bit of tingling in the fingertips. From here, you're going to nice and easy just rock out on that area. Now, if it is too painful, stop. Go get some ice and then try it again. If it continues to persist, please call your doctor immediately. Now from here, and this is great for all of you runners, we're going to go ahead and we're going to attack our IT band, which is simply a nice little strip of muscle that runs along right from the side of your hip down towards the outside of your knee. having some knee pain or discomfort. Massaging out the IT band with the foam roller is a great technique. What you need to do is get into that same position that we were in for the upper body, but this time the foam roller rests on our hip. So, top legs over the top. And from here, you're going to use your upper body to walk that foam roller and allow it to roll up and down the side of that body. Now, ideally, we want to see that leg, that bottom leg, lifted up over the floor. But if it's too tender, keep it on the floor. If it's super tender, just allow your body to rest on that spot. And then come back to it when it feels a little less tender. And again, if you're that uncomfortable, go get some ice. Let the ice cool down the area, and then try it again. Now, there are some other parts of the body that you can do. One being, you can also do the quads. And how do you do the quads? You simply lay on it. So from here, you actually just lower your body so you're in a more of a prone position. And nice and easy, you're just rocking it out. You can also do the same thing for your hamstrings as well. Simply flip your body over. Allow your body to pop itself right up onto that foam, and then nice and easy, rock it out. My favorite other one is actually the piriformis. It's a little muscle in the butt that controls internal and external rotation of the hip. And for all those runners out there, tennis players, basketball players, anybody who does side to side movements in a sport is going to love this one as well. Because the piriformis muscle can sometimes seize up on us, and we want to keep it always relaxed. So from here, you're going to go ahead and sit right on the foam roller, cross one leg over the other, and then from here, bend the bottom leg, lean into the side of the knee that's crossed, and nice and easy, roll it out. You want to kind of get to that position where, again, just like with the shoulder, you feel that part of that muscle. So here we are, lay on the side, nice and easy, and you're just going to dig it out for me. So in a nutshell, those are some of the basic things that you can do with the foam roller. And again, if you have more questions about how to use a foam roller and what its importance is, which we did discuss a little bit in the beginning, which is simply breaking down the soft tissue, promoting healing, and promoting circulation to the muscles. So again, we increase that healing factor for you. You can always email me at info at morethanjustyourspine.com. You're welcome to leave a comment after the post. And we encourage you to try some of these things out for yourself. But again, if you're having certain issues or problems or pain, but you're not quite sure if you're ready for a foam roller, do see your physician first or contact us and we'll let you know. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.